Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, click on the subscription button where you see the subscribe has been written. Click on it and beside it there is a bell there. That is a notification bell. Click on that bell and select all so that anytime I make videos, you'll be the first person to be able to see it. As I said in my previous videos, I have content that I know you are going to so much like. And you can look forward to migrate from your home country to other countries if you want tips on what to do. Then this is the channel for you. So subscribe and click on the notification bell. I'm giving you two seconds to do that. If you thought IELTS was just any English test, where you were just going to do some comprehension, read it an essay, raise up your hand. <laughs> a lot of people go and write IELTS without preparation because they think it's just an English test and oh, I've been speaking English from day one, I can pass English from day one. Guys, never write IELTS when you are not prepared. In fact, spend quality time Preparing with them for IELTS, know your weakness, know your strength, know which area you are weak in, stress on them, work more, and I know you are going to be. IELTS or the International English Language Testing Systems is the English test of competence that is required for anybody who is looking forward to travel or to migrate to an English speaking country from countries such as Africa, the Caribbean and Asia and guys IELTS is the most difficult hurdle that most people find very difficult to cross but once you hit it you are so good to go I know someone who wrote IELTS for 18 times and on the 18th certain he had his required band score to migrate and so don't let anything come in between you and your travel once you know what you want you go get it and there are other options if you don't look forward to writing IELTS there are other things you can do which I'll talk about in a separate video but today I'm going to talk about IELTS IDP and IELTS British Council from the name you can see that IELTS British Council is organized by United Kingdom or in England and IELTS IDP is organized in Australia they have lots of similarities and differences but in all their structure remains the same you have to write listening, reading, writing and speaking. Whichever one you do first, most of the time they do the speaking first and write the three other components on the same day. Or you do your listening, uh, your listening, reading, writing and you do the speaking on the same day or on a latter day. But most of the time you do your speaking first before you do the others. Now let's look at the similarities and differences between those two things. The differences between these two tests are not really much. Well, the British Council is a little bit expensive than the IDP. I think probably it's because of the value of the Australian dollar. So you have the British Council like Zambia, a little bit expensive than the British, sorry, than the IELTS IDP. And also with the British Council, you have to register some months or weeks to your test date but with the IDP you can register maybe a day or two before your test date and you'll still be given the permission to write. With both exams the validity period is for two years within which you should use the result for whichever purpose for which it was written and also the results are published 13 days after you sit for your exam so you count 13 days after your exams and on the dawn of that day at 12 a.m. The results are published online. IELTS is accepted for nurses, midwives, doctors, students. If you want to go to another country to learn, maybe under scholarship or self-sponsored, most of the times you need IELTS if it's an English-speaking country. And I know that for schools, they need between band five to band six. Most at most band six point five is okay. If you're a nurse going to practice in the United States, you need band six in all the four models. If you are going to the United Kingdom, you need band 7 in listening, reading and speaking and a band 6.5 at least in the writing. And if you are going to Ireland, as I did my video, my previous video, you need 777 and 6.5, whichever way you 
you get it. And if you are migrating to go and work as a nurse or a midwife or a doctor, you need IELTS Academic, not IELTS General. If you go and write IELTS General, it's a waste of money, energy, time and all resources. So guys, write your IELTS Academic. Previously in UK, you needed to write IELTS UK VI, but now you just need IELTS Academic and you are good to go. There is this myth I hear about IELTS IDP being a little bit flexible or easier to pass than IELTS British Council. Guys, it's, it's broadly not true. The level of difficulty is the same. But if you have two people writing these tests on the same day, they will not have the same questions. The questions vary, but the level of difficulty is the same. Just that sometimes with the remarking policy, with IDP is a little bit flexible, especially with the writing. If you write um, IDP and you are going to remark, maybe you didn't get a required bank score, you want to go for remarking. IDP is a little bit flexible. But IDP is not in most countries. It's fine in some selected countries. Maybe with time it will, it will spread to other countries. But for now, it is fine in some selected countries. Whilst British Council can be found in a lot of countries. So with the structure of the test, the first component you usually do is speaking. Sometimes you do speaking some days before you do the other three. Sometimes you do the speaking on the same day as you write the other three. Sometimes you do it later on. While we're speaking, it's one-on-one -on -one interview with an examiner who is going to ask you some questions and you're going to provide answers. You should use a little bit of complex grammar, not so much. You can make good use of online resources and I'll be providing some of the links that can be needed in my description box below. You can make good use of online resources and that it is for speaking. For a listening, you'll be provided with a headset where you're going to hear a conversation between two or more people, sometimes it can be a dialogue or a monologue and you are going to listen to this conversation and use it to answer some questions in the question booklet that will be provided in front of you. After the lesson, you move to the reading where you will be given a passage, three passages to read, lengthy passages, especially for the academic, you are going to read and answer 40 questions from these passages within one hour and guys the one hour is like magic like you close your eyes and open and the one hour is already gone so you have to work on your speed your time management and how to locate your answers and everything and then move on to the writing where you are given two passages for the IELTS academic you are given two um, letters to write the first one is not a letter the first one is a report where you write a report on diagrams or representations and the second one is discussion. That's a task two. You are given a topic to discuss about where you write a very long essay. So you should be conversant with your complex English and how to ask your results at once. You can make good use of online resources that are all over the place. If you think you need additional support, where you need uh, someone to teach you, you can go ahead to look for some good schools and attend but personally, I don't think going for school for IELTS or anything is really, really necessary. But if it comes critical and you think you need someone to help you, why not? You can go for a helping hand, get a teacher to take you through, walk you through the process. And when your time or your date is due, you go with your passport and you register. I wish you all the very best in your journey. And I know this is the most difficult hurdle to cross. It is like a bridge between you and your next destiny. And so if you cross it, a very big, big congratulations. You need to really celebrate it in grand style and you move on to the next level. See you at the top. Bye.